There is somebody God wants to lift from obscurity. I want to teach on the blood. But I need to use a prophetic trumpet to break somebody out of something. There is a power holding somebody down. <laughs> there is a fire about to come upon you now to break that power. Ushers, you will bring that one person that the hand of God will come upon now. In the name of Jesus, every force holding you down, I break it right now. Come out of that pit. Shate Kerabana. Hale, Hale, Hale. I break that spell. I break that yoke. The powers that held you down, come out of it. Dariana, Baran, Cobra, Kido, Patina. Hale, Hale, Hale. Hale, Hale, Hale. Hale, Hale, Hale. Hale, Hale. They, they are cases this is an emergency case if we wait for them to understand they may be cut off the hand of God comes upon you tonight help me Pastor Victor hallelujah someone here you walk with your hand and diligently very diligently but nothing seems to be opening because there is a covering cast I speak over you now by the power of the resurrected Christ everything covering you in the name of Jesus break now Really, what you do that prospers you that thing you are doing and prospering there are more than a thousand persons doing it that are in obscurity it takes the hand of God you will not walk out of this auditorium except as the hand of God comes upon you tonight in the name of Jesus receive that grace thank you father please sit down for a moment Your lives will never remain the same again. Amen. He said, when the Lord shall turn again the captivity of Zion. Occupation didn't change. It was captivity that was addressed. He said, we were like them that dream dreams. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. Somebody met me three days ago. Struggling for seven years. Until God stepped in. Same job, seven years not prospering, but in the last three four months, gained what he had not gained in seven years. As at the time we were speaking, where's your shop? He said, Which branch? Which branch? What was not achievable in seven years was achieved in months. Which branch? He said, There are three of them now. 
And as he's talking, he's overwhelmed with customers from Lagos. Perhaps they're about to extend their tentacles. Everything limiting your prosperity in the name of Jesus, they go down now. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Please sit down. They say 2% of the world controls the wealth of the world. I don't know about you. But come what may, I must become part of that 2%. I don't know about you. Because there are humongous agenda to be sponsored. I'm not planning to be part of the poor. I'm not planning to be part of the of those seeking help. I want to be a help big giver. I'm not, see, I don't pity myself. And that's why when I talk to people, I talk to them hard. Wake up! Pity takes nobody anywhere. I'm not planning to be part of those that will be needing help. He said, be not weary in well-doing. You have the power and the capacity to do. And that's the realm somebody is coming in tonight. In the name of Jesus. I wish I was teaching on prophecy tonight. There's a river flowing. There's a river. There's a water flowing. I, it's carrying treasures. 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 All kinds of treasures. Some are oils. Oils that provoke wealth. Some are giftings, talents, dimensions that opens the gate of, her, of wealth. My God, Taka Taka, Ragias, Gagash, Detalia, Susani, Bakakaro, Dagatina, Sakata, Oleske, Ayana, Barate, Elo, Safare, Zazone, Kalatana, Laila, Laila, Salele, Yekamano, Sakate, Zeta, Sahida. Step into that river. father my god in this week a strange door will open to you if the devil prospers man if the devil will dare to tell jesus i will give you the riches of the whole world hear me nothing is too good for you in the name of jesus step into the best seasons of your life I command doors open to you. Mare. Most of you have visions, but the power to start it is not there. In the name of Jesus, receive the power to start. Receive the grace to start. Receive the capacity to start. I open up that vision. I start up that company. I start up that business. I start up that investment. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. has redefined our vision of life and reprogram our thought about ourselves God is about to deliver somebody from that monthly stipend that you receive from that monthly figure that has reprogrammed you let me tell you I'm not just talking we are in the last days 
there's about to be a global shift and one of the scepters that will be wield in the church is the scepter of wealth somebody met me receiving salary of about nine hundred thousand naira and when i looked at the cv i said no no you are undervalued you have to shift from here in less than two weeks the person received a business offer and they were offering ten thousand dollars in a month and he said no i will take fifteen thousand dollars why yet talking about that another national company reached out to the person and said listen we want to employ you as senior manager but having spoken to you and seen your cv he said please we will offer you the position of a general manager let me tell you you are bigger than what the world makes you feel in the name of jesus every dead capacity i speak by prophecy i work now i work now step into your full measure step into your full measure thank you father how do you think the kingdom will advance if 